Today on Cryptic Mask Guitar, we take a look at the Boss OS2 Overdrive Distortion Pedal. So looking at this pedal, what you just heard there was my clean tone, very pretty clean sound. Nothing too gritty, nothing too brutal, sounding just a nice clean tone. So now we're going to turn this pedal on and we're going to see what the different knobs are going to do. So where you see my level knob right now, when I turn this on, you'll actually hear that it's somewhat close to unity gain. Down the middle, you actually get a volume drop, so. So as you can hear, we already got some of that grittiness in there, which we expect from an overdrive. Anything driving an amp is going to grab some of that grittiness, but this pedal in particular has a different kind of flavor to it. So looking at our tone knob right now, I don't think I need to go through the level knob anymore. You can push it a little bit more if you choose to go clockwise with it, or you can bring it back some if you go counterclockwise. Looking at the tone knob now, we have that all the way down into our bass regions. This is the lowest tone that you can get with this pedal. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it up a little bit. So you can already start to hear some of that grit already in the tone as we get into the higher regions. And the more we turn it up, the more prominent that grit becomes. And all the way maxed out. So as you can hear, it starts to seem a little bit unpleasant as we get into those very high regions. I'm going to turn that back down now to... A little bit more of a suitable tone. Now I'm going to move this drive knob. Now this drive knob is going to kind of accentuate how much uh, drive you want in your distortion sound or in your overdrive sound, which you adjust with your color knob. But with the drive knob, with the overdrive all the way down in the max. Starting to get into some more extreme ranges with the drive knob. And all the way up. So 
But as you can see, that's the maximum drive sound that you can get in the bottomed out uh, side of the OS uh, section. When we move the color up, we're getting into more distorted ranges. So Let's put that at about 12 o'clock. And start moving up our color knob. And once we get to the middle range, that's when you're starting to get into the distortion ranges. And we'll stop there. So. And this would be the start of our distortion range. So as you can hear, we're starting to get some noise, which would be expected once you're starting in getting into those high gain ranges. So now let's listen to a sound sample where I use the lowest extreme to the highest extreme in this typical uh, OD style setting. That way you guys can hear from mild to what you can with the solo section or the lead section of what this pedal can actually do. get into the distortion style settings of this pedal now with the distortion style settings of this pedal you do get into some of those extreme gritty ranges you'll really hear it as we start turning this knob up uh, I'm not going to move my level tone or drive we're just going to keep those there uh, I don't mind that setting and you guys will hear many different uh, sound samples after this portion so here's the the tone again <laughs> Moving it up a little bit. Thank you. 
Now let's move that drive knob up just so you guys can hear it a bit. You can start to hear that muddiness. You can start to hear that grit. Moving up more. And maxed out. So you can really hear that grit at the end there. So now let's listen to a sound sample with two different uh, samples of the distortion sound, one being a clean distortion and the other one having a little bit more grit for the lead part. So this concludes my review of the OS2 Overdrive Distortion Pedal. Now, with this pedal, this can sound and be an excellent, excellent pedal for anybody out there. But unless you're not specifically buying this to be like, oh, this is an SD1 and a DS1 in a box, this can be sadly disappointing for you. There is a lot of uh, variation from that sound to this sound. Uh, now the SD1 side, you can kind of get some of those tones with this. I'm sure that you can get them a lot more closer than what you can with the distortion side. Now the distortion side, people think that it's a DS1. It to me is not a DS1. It's more closer to the DS2, the turbo distortion in the turbo mode because it has that extra grit on top of it that some people may not like in their sound. So make sure you plug this pedal in before you actually buy this pedal unless you really don't care and you just want something to throw in your bag and have to play around with for later or just to have you get you out of a pinch of when your pedals fail this might be an excellent uh pedal to have just to get you by uh, if you do like that gritty sound that punk rock uh grunge sound this pedal is definitely going to add that extra element to that sound that you want especially in the distortion ranges and even when you get into the high high uh, overdrive ranges you do get a lot of grit out of this pedal which is a very unique and cool sound it just might not be for you i like that sound and i don't like that sound depending on uh what style of sound i'm looking for sometimes it's a little bit too much sometimes you want something that just can give you more inspiration to dig in uh, this pedal will definitely get you there so I hope I've been able you distinguish if this is the pedal that's right for you or not. Until next time, I'm Kevin of Cryptic Mask Guitar. Take care.